Okay, section three, introducing the other hand. So let's just recap. I'm going to take our spoon, place it in our hand, create the mirror image, check there's a space, make sure it's rigid. Then what I want you to do is bring it down on your leg, like this. This shouldn't hurt, okay? I don't want you hitting yourself too hard. What we're gonna do is just keep a steady pulse. So the hands are reasonably relaxed, or the wrist is reasonably relaxed here. The hands fairly tight because it's keeping the shape of the spoon so that they bounce back. And we're getting a clear hit. We're not getting this, okay? Or this. Clear strikes. One, two, three, four. Keeping it steady. What we're gonna do in a minute is bring our hand in over the top so that when the spoon gets to the top, it's gonna to hit there as well, okay? Two, three, here it goes. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. So every time you get up here, you get to an and in between the counts of the whole numbers. One, and, two, and, three, and, every and. It's hitting as you come up on the palm of your hand and every whole number, one and two and three and four, is landing on the thigh. One, two, three, four. This doesn't change at all when I bring my hand in. It's the act of bringing my other hand in that changes it. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Okay, go and give it a go.